All right, so first of all, what up guys? It's been a while since I uploaded a video. Anyways, this is uh, in regards to the breather setup that I sell. And I've been getting a lot of, a lot of, not conflict, but confusion on these kits uh, after you install it. And a lot of times people install it and uh, it would just generate more smoke. Well, it's not generating more smoke. It's just not hiding uh, any bullshit anymore, like the PCB system was. So uh, a lot of people ditched it and they would uh, go back to recirculated PCB and not. Nah. So this kit is just telling you what's going on with the with the car. If it's a healthy engine, it's not gonna smoke that much. Some smoke is, is fine with a high compression ethanol turbo car. I wanted to be too worried about it. Anyways, I met everybody in the middle and I just I just came up with something else. Uh, I didn't come up with this, but I just went back to the old design, very first design before if it was even a beta. So uh, I'll show you guys the kit right now and uh, I'm gonna install it real quick on my car. So uh, here's my car, I'm gonna get it installed. So uh, the reason why I'm showing you on this car is because it's gonna show you guys that it fits with any intake manifold setup that you have. Doesn't matter. I changed the re relocation of it. It's not over there anymore. So anyways, uh, here's the kit. Here's what you get. Uh, two lines. Now it's one, one's a dash 10, the other's a dash eight. You get the catch can. This port right here is for the dash 10 fitting. This port right here is for dash eight fitting. And this dash 10 port here, vents to atmosphere. A lot of people question me about this. They think it goes somewhere and they think they're missing a hose. No, just leave it alone. And if for whatever reason, you know what, we'll go back to this later. Here are the, the two fittings that I include as well. Dash 10 right here, flap delete, uh, dash eight PCV delete. All right, so I already have this installed, but this is pretty straightforward. Just, uh, Remove the stock system, screw it in. See the threads right there. Easy setup. This one just goes right here. That's the other one I was talking about. It's already installed. This one goes right there. Boom, done. Just gotta lube it up a little bit. And, uh, get the hoses ready and the can so for the can where I'm locating it now is actually right here so there's two screws here for the for the AC line this one you just bend it off with a plier it comes off really easy and this one's the one you want to use and it goes right there just like that and just put the nut back on and you're good to go all right now that that's mounted on Nice and firm, not going anywhere. We can put the hoses on. So let me get the hoses on and uh, show you how it looks like once uh, I get each one on. All right, so the first line is in, it's dash eight. So uh, I did it without even taking this thing out. So if you guys want, take this out, it's a lot easier. But I'm just so used to it, I, you know, this is whatever. So. There you go, it's all in. Now for the dash 10. All right, now the dash 10 line is in from the can all the way to the fitting. It might be easier for some people to not, like don't pre-install this yet. Screw it onto the fitting first and then like lube it up and then just press it in. This way it's, you know, straight if the line's still in, uh, it, it depends. It doesn't take me that long to, to do it, so it's not a big deal, but here's the kit. So you got the baffled can, you got the two lines and the two fittings. Uh, I love, I still love going from here. This is still such a great idea, but a lot of people complain about, you know, oil just going through the lines or smoking issues. Well, that's just, that is unrelated to the kit. It's just an unhealthy engine. So if you have problems with that, and you have this kind of this kind of setup similar to mine, I would I would do a leak down test, a compression test, and definitely check on the valve cover. 
uh, always check the valve cover actually make sure it's you know it's still not internally cracked it's still a healthy valve cover anyways here you go here's a kit I probably will add an option to route this line down a lot of people don't like the smell some people do because race car but I personally don't give a shit um, yeah so that's it so yeah the, the line from will go from just from here down to the floor and uh, just to avoid smell you could even uh, put a vacuum port here like a vacuum pump you could use that you could run this to a turbo inlet like for example uh, you could run this from here run a line all the way to the turbo right here this is a single turbo car so you could just put a fit in here just to just so people can uh you know shut up and just put vacuum on it because if system needs vacuum well here this this system is an absolute zero so i think it's good it's been proven this way too all right guys that's about it for the kit it's pretty simple uh this is the latest revision and i think it's the best one right now uh it's super clean super easy to install and uh you know quality is pretty good i, li I like it I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and if you guys have any other questions just leave a comment and let me know i'll try to get back to you as much as possible thanks guys